This is um, the refinement of the HTC Hero. So what you have with this device is you have the whole shell. It's made out of aluminium. It's a seamless build, which means that it not only aids in strength, but also durability of the device. It gives a very nice tactile feel to it. What you have with this is all the components have actually been built into the actual device, the circuit board, all that sort of stuff have actually been built into this aluminium shell that you see here. On the back, you've still got your 5 megapixel autofocus camera. You've also got your flash on it this time. You have a 35 mm jack plug on the top and also your power on and off button. Just on the base, you have your charging socket, which is the micro USB charger. This bottom half pops off, okay? This is actually the antenna of the device. Let's see here, the connectors. That's the actual antenna. There is a flap just here that actually opens. I won't open it now, because if I take the flap off, it actually ejects the battery. But just underneath the flap, that's where you'll find the battery, the SIM card, and also the uh, memory card. It supports up to 32 gig memory cards as well. This is running um, Android 2.1, okay, with HTC Sense on the side. Um, what you also find on the front face is that you've got your optical trackpad, okay? So when you're in your menu, instead of having a rollerball, this is no moving parts. So with your trackpad, you're able to just brush your finger simply across the bottom. Have the same experience as a trackball with no moving parts. You can see the actual um, the circle just around. You can also click that in, so that's a clickable button. So if you're on the camera feature for whatever reason, it gives you a very nice response to take your pictures. What you'll find is the familiar home screen, the menu button, the back button, and the search key there as well. Now, with that oh, HTC like Sense, the, this is the new version of Sense, yeah, exactly. so you still have the same familiar seven screens on top of um, Android 2.1. What you also have with this one as well is the ability to pinch on Sense, so when you pinch, it'll then bring all the screens out in a nice layout for you, so you can instantly jump to a particular page rather than scrolling through. It just means so it's very easy to navigate. What we've also done with this top layer here as well um, is we've added extra functionality to do through widgets. So um, if I, for example, move to this side, instead of me having my normal mail icon, which you had on the previous um, Android, you've now got an exchange widget. So now I can see my emails from the actual people with the first header. If I don't want that, you can also choose different type of email widgets. Isn't well now? So if I go into there, I'll just go into email widgets in a second. We've actually simplified down the actual widget section as well. So rather than having Android widgets and HTC widgets as a separate item, you've now got them all combined in one easy to see widget section. You've also got your programs, your shortcuts, and obviously creating a folder. So if I just go into widgets just there. Now, we've actually enhanced the widget section like I said before. So I was talking about email Emails. So if I go to mail, you now got the choice of having the single mail icon where you might be familiar with flicking up the screen. You can go to the next one, which then gives you a very overview breakdown of your mails. Go to the next one, you can also see a little line of what that email is about as well. So basically, you've got a choice of widgets, custom widgets for your mail. If I scroll down. Full list. What you'll also find as well on here is just at the very top, you've actually got get more HTC widgets. If I just tap on that, we are now building our own HTC own brand widgets. So at the moment, this will try to access the HTC widget store and what will happen is that this will bring through the HTC widgets that we're currently building. We're looking at adapting and actually adding more to that market as well as the, as the handset progresses. So at the moment this is what's available direct from HTC but this will be constantly updated for the device so the functionality of the device will grow. Okay. So if I just go back out, so just go back to home. Internet, the internet browser has been sped up on this device as well, so it still supports your multi-touch. Okay. What you also have with the browser is that not only is it faster, but you can hold your finger down on a piece of text. You've got text selection just there as well. And it'll bring up three options. 
The first option is actually to copy it to your clipboard so you can cut and paste that text straight into a text message or an email or that sort of thing. The other option that you're going to have there as well is that you've got the magnifier. The magnifier will actually take you straight to a Wikipedia site. So if you want to know more about a particular text subject, it'll bring you straight to Wikipedia to find out more about it. And then also in there, you've also got Google Translate. So if you go into a foreign website, it'll actually translate the text for you. Go one more, and you've got a Google Dictionary. We'll actually tell you more about that. Thing. I just go back. If you actually hold, hold down a long press on that uh, on the um, on there, so if I go that, yeah. just click through. You find that the browser is actually quite quick, so it's actually now rendering correctly. You can also orientate as well if you want to, and double tap to zoom in and out.